What's up guys, Nate Rebn, I'm here from Protoculture and another tech tip. Uh, today just looking at a little bit of um, uh, a few tips on EQing, um, and particularly with, uh, well, um, this applies to everything, but it does help me quite often with uh, bass lines. Um, it's kind of a new trend that's kind of uh, just suddenly started uh, appearing in plugins and, and uh, DAWs. Well, I'm not sure about Logic and... Uh, and Ableton, but I know Cubase has just implemented this, and uh, we'll look at ProQ2 again as well. Um, here we go. Um, they've got this really nifty little uh, uh, little tool that they've added. Um, if you click on this little keyboard, you'll see a piano roll opens up at the bottom, and you may wonder why we've got a piano roll in an EQ. Um, this is to let you snap your... Um, EQs to specific frequencies. You can see as you go through here, yeah, you'll be able to snap. Um, basically, what this does is it it, it lets you find the, the the sort of resonant frequencies or or the dominant frequencies in a specific chord. Um, it can really really be useful when you uh, I find quite often in bass frequencies when um, your bass is becoming a little bit muddied or you're struggling to. Uh, the tone, uh, you know, sometimes because of uh, uh, overlapping frequencies and stuff, you'll find that um, your bass becomes a little bit money and, and it almost sounds like it's out of out of tune with the rest of the track, um, especially when you are um, moving up and down in different keys. So what this can do is it, it can be a, a good little uh, a trick to kind of just pull out frequencies that you specifically want and um, according to your actual track's key. If we go in here, yeah, I've just played a simple bass part quickly. Nothing special, um, but you'll be able to hear now. Um, that is, in fact, in a D. So what we can do is, on our EQs, um, just drag this down to D. Uh, D1, I'm guessing actually D2 will probably be where we want to be. Uh, 73, you can see there, 73 hertz, 73.46, which is great. Um, we can now just dial up the gain. If you really, if you really want to hear the effect of this, uh, a good way to do that is to turn the Q up as much as possible. So we really, really, really bring out a lot of that resonance. Um, just keep that band very narrow and uh, take a listen. Yeah, the 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 resonant frequency is actually almost in, or definitely is in tune with the actual bass part that's playing. Um, we can bring this up a little bit more, and you'll probably hear it even more there. Hang on, let's give that a go. You can yeah, it's in tune. The the actual sign or or resonant frequency there is in tune with with the keys. Um, by the same token, what this can help with is if you are aware of a specific key in your chord structure that you're using that shouldn't be there. Um, for instance, uh, so now we want to get rid of an A A minor because we're working in a D. Oh, we're working in a D minor and we want to get rid of A flat because it just doesn't sound right it doesn't belong there it's very simple to just go and select that frequency or down here yeah, wherever you want to work and pull it out the same way that we did with the other one just get rid of it and you can remove those problem frequencies now I, I don't think this should be used over your your ears judgment uh, you, when when you can um, be careful of, of being too uh, reliant on visual stimulation like this it should always sound good that should be the first thing that you do um, but this is a very handy little tip to help you out um, I'll just show you the same the same thing can be done uh, in Cubase's default EQ as well um, they've got a cool little function. Um, there's a couple of little hidden functions behind these these actual knobs, which uh, um, some people don't know about. This one, for example, actually you can change the filter slope of your um, high cut and low cut or high pass and low pass filters. Um, do you have all the way up to a 48 dB octave? We'll leave it on 24. Um, what's really cool? 
what's really cool about Cubase's um, EQ snap function is that you can actually just type it in if you double click on any of the frequency bands down at the bottom where it lets you type in 800 hertz or whatever. If you just type in D2, Cubase automatically recognizes that as D2 on the keyboard and it'll set it automatically to 146 hertz and D1, 73.4 which is what we had on the Pro Q. So yeah, there you go. Um, super handy. You can just drag that one up or turn the CQ on and you'll see. So D2. D3. Even higher, D4. So yeah. Um, Cool, great, great uh, little tool just for enhancing harmonics and um, really bringing out specific um, keys and tones in your in your sounds. I uh, hope you guys enjoyed that. Uh, see you soon. Cheers. Thanks everybody for watching, commenting, and indeed liking. We really do appreciate all the support we get here on our Sonic Academy YouTube channel. So if you find this video super useful, please. We'd love you to hit the subscribe button. We update the uh, YouTube channel every week with new content. And if you want to watch some more relevant content, just click on the videos beside me. <laughs>